you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes a person you can't stand ends up being a good friend of you. Yeah, sometimes somebody you have no use for can do something. You go, you know, thank you. And that's all you can say when, a, when somebody that's an enemy or your class enemy or someone who's not on your team, but they do something, you're like, you know what, I'm glad they did that right there. It doesn't mean you forgive everything they've done because we're not naive. We don't have to forgive, but we could work with them for a second. We could hold our tongue for a minute. We could be like, you know, okay, it's good. I'm glad they did that. That's very helpful. That's how I feel about Joe Manchin right now. Oh, man, I never thought this day would come that I would ever, ever feel positive about Joe Manchin in any way. Joe Manchin is a hard, he, Joe Manchin is a Republican, one of the worst kinds of Republicans, but he has the name of a Democrat. But today he did something. Today he did something that I have to applaud him for, guys. Here goes the clip about what's going on with Joe Manchin and why Tim Black, a critic, a frequent critic of Joe Joe Manchin, Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia, had to give him the head nod. Check it out. Joe Manchin has just put out a statement saying that he plans to oppose the nomination of Neera Tandon to be President Biden's budget director. Because of the 50-50 split in the Senate, the Democrats cannot afford to give up even a single vote if they hope to pass Tandon's nomination. So this all but guarantees that she will not pass because Tandon's nomination has emerged as something of a lightning rod for the GOP who sees, sees her as a highly charged and partisan nominee for, uh, for the office of management and budget. Uh, we are still awaiting a response from the Biden administration about how it plans to proceed with this, uh, but certainly it would appear that Tandon's nomination is in jeopardy, uh, if not the very end of the road for her, based on Manchin saying that he will not vote for her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, a, that's one of them good surprises right there, Johnson. It's a damn good surprise. That, that warmed my heart. You know, because Neil Tennant is one of the worst, one of the worst people in politics. She's, she's such an enemy to the left. And she's done a series of things, a number of things, over the last few years that have really just shown her to be one of those type of Democrats that get in our way more than Republicans do. And, you know, there are some people still focus on the fact that Neil Tandon would be the first OMB director, secretary of OMB, OMDB, uh, who's Asian, and a female, female Asian. They, heard, they caught up on that again. They still don't understand it doesn't matter what your race is, what your color is, what your orientation is, what your gender is, if your politics sucks. But Joe Manchin's right, he's, he's stepping up. He's like, hey. And look, don't get me wrong. I don't think Joe Manchin is stepping up for a lot of the reasons that we would want him to step up. But in this game, we don't get to choose why people do what they do. In fact, sometimes I don't even care why people do what they do. Hey, look, man, if we're going to feed some people and you're doing it for your ego, I don't even need to know, man. I don't even need to know, man. That's right, baby. If you're going to put some food on the table for some folks who need it, and you're just doing it to make yourself feel better, feel better about something you did in the past, hey, look, that's between you and your God, Johnson. What we need to be worried about is how many kids can we feed with this money? How many, how many plates can we, can we make? Now, you go on in there and go ahead and pray and clear your conscience or whatever. I'm going to go, go ahead and work on putting out this food to these babies. Because we can't be worried about what somebody's motives are. First of all, half the time you never get to find out what people's true motives are. How you going to do? Look into their soul. We're doing a George Bush. I saw into his soul. Now, you looked into your donor list is what you did, Johnson. So the whole idea is, uh, is what's someone's motivation. And this ain't, this ain't a movie, Johnson. We, this ain't a stage play. We ain't on, we ain't on Broadway. I, don't ask me what your motive. I don't need to know what your motivation is. I need to know what your actions are. And right about now, Joe Manchin, his actions are in line with what I want. Now, tomorrow, I'll be chasing them again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
You know I'll be chasing you again tomorrow, right, Joe? Now, some people don't understand why we don't like Nira Tandon. And, and look, don't like is, is a weak way to put it. How about this? Some people don't understand why we despise Nira Tandon. Hey, it's not just the horrible things she said on Twitter. It's not just that. That would be enough. How many names could you be called before you're like, you know what, I don't like this person. I don't think this person has a temperament that I would want them to be in any way, shape, or form making decisions on my behalf. I may not be able to stop them from having a private organization that they run. That's their right to do. But, yeah, being a horrible individual is enough not to want somebody to be elected to an office or appointed to an office. But the issue with Neil Tanner runs deeper than just her disgusting displays on Twitter, her rants, her slanderous comments made about people. Slanderous, inaccurate, smears. Here's a couple things about Neil Tandon. Neil Tandon is noted, outwardly no, noted, noted for wanting not only to bomb the hell out of Libya, but wanting to steal its oil. So not only do we bomb Libya and put it and make it a slave state, that's open open market slaves in uh in Libya. She's on record saying, well, hey, we need, we need, we need oil, so they got it. Might as well just rape them and take all their oil now. Yeah, that's a person that, that we might not want to rock with. That's somebody, somebody who's that dis disgusting. We might not want to, we might not want uh, to be in charge of our government. Yeah, no seat of power for that person. She also added a sexual harassment complainant. Yeah, and, and there was a woman, by the way, that was complaining about a man that Nira Tandon knew, and Nira Tandon in the meeting just drops a person's name that was supposed to be kept confidential. So a lot of women was like, hey, this is, that's, that's wrong as hell. And if a guy did that, his career would probably be over. But we're talking about Nira Tandon. Uh... Also, near Tan is one of those people kept pushing how Hillary Clinton lost because of Russia. Yeah, Russia made Hillary lose. She was in the documentation for WikiLeaks floating this idea. We need to run with this. This is how we, this is how we can combat this. We, we need to spin this right now that it was Russia. There was no evidence. She didn't have any evidence. She was just saying it because, well, we need a boogeyman and we could just use Russia. Once again, not, the, not actually the type of Ethics that we want a person to possess is going to be working for us in government. Neil Tannen, she's under Hillary Clinton's wing the whole time. I mean, in fact, if it wasn't for Hillary Clinton, there would be no Neil Tannen. We wouldn't even know who Neil Tannen is. I mean, she was just riding the coattails of Hillary Clinton. In fact, when last week when I covered Neil Tannen at her confirmation hearings, she sounded just like Hillary. Never take a responsibility for anything she does. Doing double speak. Asked about her horrible tweets. Talked about other people's tweets. Yeah, deflection. And played victim. Hillary Hallmarks. Once again, the type of person, uh, maybe we wouldn't want her to be around in your government having power. Making decisions on your behalf. Uh, and besides all of that, she also won, She was also down with cutting Social Security and other entitlements in order to make way for more bombs. Yep. Same thing. And, and see, that's what puts her in line with uh, Joe Biden. Because Joe Biden was willing to do the same thing. Joe Biden had the same sentiments. That's why when people say, why did Joe Biden pick Neil Tannen? He likes Neil Tannen. That's the type of politics that really rocks Joe Biden's world. This whole, he's a nice guy and all this garbage, they've been feeding us, that's not true. Oh, that could be true. But what's also true, Neil Tannen is his spirit animal. Or she and he share the same political ideology. Corporations, corporate, corporate uh, pandering and uh, lobbyist money. She took all this money from Google and and, and Facebook and other uh, and, and special interests 
to fund her Center for American Progress organization over the years. Her hands look like cups. and She's been compromised many times over. Millions and millions of times over, Johnson. So when people say Tim Black, or when people say to you, hey, why don't you like Neil Tandon? Pick one of these, pick one of these reasons. Don't even make it about the tweets. Because the tweets are the least of the problem. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Don't be fooled by corporate media talking heads misleading the people. Get your news and information from an entity that keeps it real. Tim Black. Tim Black is the host of The Tim Black Show. Independent news that leaves you informed, inspired, and sometimes entertained, but always in the know. Go to TimBlackTV.com and sign up today. The Tim Black Show is news for people who can't stand the news. See you there.